All right, off to the East Coast, Sunday morning. Um, definitely a cool weekend. Some other things happened outside of the show that we'll talk about later on. But, um, you know, it was a good event, good learning experience. Unfortunate that I had to get second and didn't get the Olympia title I wanted. But, um, you know, I nailed my physique. I nailed my peak. I came here in perfect condition. Uh, my physique was definitely number one. So at least I did my homework. I stuck it out, and I came in with the physique to win it. So, uh we just learn from the experience, focus on bigger and better things from here on out, and uh, it's off to the East Coast. This definitely represents the work I put in. It's definitely an award for my physique and how I was able to dial my conditioning down despite all the adversity I went through and people doubting me. Counts for something. One of the definite highlights of this trip was being able to travel home with my girlfriend and being able to eat at the same time. Because every time I travel, it's always by myself for a photo shoot or an expo. And I'm usually dieting during it, so I can't even have the nuts they give you on the plane.
around when you have a bite like that, right? Probably the same one or different one. You still feel a little flat? Yeah, I think I'm still working on the flat right now. I need something fast. Give me a cookie. You want a cookie? I'll go get you a cookie. <laughs> Not a problem. Only the best. My boss knew <laughs> she got out late, so the best thing to do was go with the flow. Heading to Poughkeepsie now to stay over at your house, Justin, and then find a bus that'll take me for around from there, probably in the morning time. So I'm basically be pulling an all nighter, and uh, I got work in the morning, but we just roll with it because we got Thanksgiving the day after. All right, so you've been following my videos, been friends with me for a while, but you haven't actually seen me in person in like a year and a half. How did I stack up in person? Like, how did I look to you in person compared to the videos? Um, definitely bigger, a lot bigger. <laughs> Uh, you're a lot wider. Yeah, you're a lot more stacked in person. That's good, dude. That's good. I wasn't sure. I was hoping. Dude, uh, my Mr. Olympia trophy doesn't even top that one. What do you got over here? Yeah. 2010 OCP Tri-City Championships Team Division. You probably recognize Yeah, yeah, trophies. yeah, the Rhode Island show. That's where I competed against you and met you. Yeah. Third place. What's that one, New York? This was 2009 New York State, seventh place. Badass, dude. Again, I really like this photo right here. I can't even believe you have this still. <laughs> that was when I was 17 at the one Rhode Island show. Oh, man. My first competition too. Who would have known I'd do it with a cyber uh, celebrity here? <laughs> it's kind of mad too, you know. You kind of stole my first place there. Yeah. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. I'll give it back. Doesn't get much better than homemade breakfast in upstate New York. Rich health and fitness. We're 
my dude, Man, Matt Santiago right here, Speedback Santiago. Champ. Santiago. Santiago, sorry about that. Santiago, <laughs> Speedback Champ. We'll be seeing some videos of him soon. Yeah, I've competed with him at the Rallon Show, and uh, now he's pretty much running game over at this gym here, personal training. It works. Yeah, absolutely. This is Jim. Take a peek around, Justin. So definitely, definitely good seeing you again, brother. Yeah, man, absolutely. You can stop by sometime, some weekend, come up and train with you guys. There's no such thing as being cocky. You can be arrogant. Arrogance is when you compare yourself to everybody else and either feel or act like you're better than everybody else around you. You're comparing yourself to everybody else and belittling them to bring yourself up. And that's definitely not a good thing. Cockiness is something different, and I don't even believe in the word cockiness. I think being cocky is simply being confident, and there's nothing wrong with that. Confidence is the number one key to success in achieving your goals in life. I believe that somebody is only as cocky as you are insecure. Because think about it, if you see somebody achieving their goals and finding success in what they're striving for, and you may not be at that time achieving what you're trying to achieve, all of a sudden their accomplishment, instead of them being excited, is going to seem like they're purposely rubbing their accomplishment in your face. And it's just because on the inside, you're feeling guilty, you're feeling upset, and you're feeling pretty much insecure that you yourself aren't achieving that. You feel like you're working hard for it, you deserved it, they got it, they're excited. Now all of a sudden, them being excited is rubbing it in your face and bragging, being cocky. If you feel like you're doing very well for yourself, you're going to see them achieve that and simply think to yourself, I'll be there next, or I'm going to knock you off your feet with what I'm about to achieve. That's being driven. That's being positive and focused. And I think that's what we all need to work on, myself included. I'm not calling anybody out. This whole entire thought process is referring to myself just as much as my neighbor, as much as my teachers, everybody. Everybody on this earth goes through these ups and downs and should definitely focus on confidence and positivity. Now in New York I just got done doing a magazine shoot with World Physique Magazine and that's all I'm allowed to say right now. I can't give you any other details aside from that but what I can say is that this project I did was not just another magazine shoot for a spread in a magazine. I've done those. This project was something much much bigger and it actually puts my name in the history books of bodybuilding. I am now the very first teenager, I believe, to have ever achieved this. And I know for a fact I am definitely the first natural teenager bodybuilder to ever achieve this. Just think about this. Does my saying that right there rub you the wrong way and make me look like a tool who's boasting? Or does it get you excited? that I may have just opened the door for natural bodybuilding, that I just showed you that you as a natural and a team bodybuilder can break through doors, can break through barriers, can get yourself noticed and reach success, despite what everybody's told us. In other words, are you the type to be insecure and unconfident, or are you the type that is driven and motivated and will take this and use it as fuel. Even if it's the top me, you know if I can do it, you can do even better. And that's the mentality you should have. I have not put anybody down, so if you are driven, if you are confident, and you're motivated, somebody is only cocky where you fall short in confidence. So, the ball's in your court. You, me, this generation, the new breed coming up, we are the ones that can change the sport around. Balls in your court. Jimmy. Nick Wright. Signing off.